In this video, we're going to answer the question how to get curved lines instead of straight lines in Chart.js 3. And this question is basically from Stack Overflow, but there at that time, you can see here, the question was exactly the opposite. And the reason why is because here at the time, this was Chart.js 1, where the default was always set on curved lines and the person wants straight lines. However, now in Chart.js 3, your default is always set on straight lines. So let's start and explore how we can answer basically the question, how can we get curved lines instead of straight lines in Chart.js 3? So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to Chart.js. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the basic uh, JavaScript here. If you go to Chart.js version 3.3.2, and then in there you, you can just click on getting started. And once you're in getting started, you get here this chunk of code. Cop copy all of this code, paste it in here, and I will just give it proper indentations and then afterwards just an enter what we need to do is a few things first of all we need to adjust this from a bar chart to a line chart and once we have that that's fine we can still adjust the variables to a constant constant and then what we need to do here as well is to add up a uh, the chart.js library so let's get that one as well once you're here on the site again Click on the submenu getting started, and then you copy here the CDN or the Chart.js library. All right, paste it in here. Make sure that this is always above the Chart.js or the JavaScript code here, because this code is dependent on the Chart.js library. All right, so we've got this now here. What we want to do more is we want to just remove the width, the width and the height. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put in here a div class, I'll call it chart box. And then in here, another div or nested div of the canvas will be nested within here. All right, so within here, I want to make sure that we have a style tag where we can assign the specific height and width. In our case, I just want to only set up the width for the chart box. So it's a chart box class. Then here, width, oh, there you are, 800 pixels max. All right, once we save that, go back here, we have here now. Our default setting of our line chart which is by default a uh, basically a straight line so how can we adjust this to make this a line with curves well basically we have there a command if we go here go to getting started we can go here to the chart types go to line chart and you see here the options and here here it has like this options here uh, let me go down more there you are in the options we're going to look for tension and once we are here, somewhere down, there you are the tension. The tension is by default set on zero. So once we click on tension, you will see here a few items, line styling, tension, uh, where are we, tension, tension, all right. Tension, basically the tension is the Bijet curve. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly. And uh, the curve tension of the line. It's set on zero to, dra to draw straight lines. And this option is ignored if monotonic cubic interpolation is used. All right. In that case, this you can ignore. This, this, this is not important. But what is more important is to draw straight lines, it is set on zero. This is the default setting. So we say here, you can put in here in the options. And we say here, put a BJ curve, tension. It's a really top word to say. Then we say here's zero. If we do here zero and I'm putting comma, save that, go back here, refresh. You can see nothing changed because the default is set on zero. So if you want to have a nice uh, elastic curve, we have to do just 0 0.4 would be more than enough. Then you can see, and now as you can see, we can start to get a, a more elastic style while the tension is just decent. If you put it on one, you will you, you will ease the tension as so much that it might create weird shapes as you can see here. Here it looks like a elastic band has been snapped into two pieces or has been snapped. And what is happening is basically it has no more tension. Tension is zero. I wonder if you can even extend it to two. Let's see what happens. Oh, there you are. You can see it now the tension doesn't make sense at all. So this is of course not really that recommended, but I would say within 0 0.5 or 0 0.4 should be more than sufficient from from my personal experience 0 0.4 is the perfect one as you can see you, you will see here 
that's more more standard and we can even go if you go the more more or when we decrease the tension we'll get it more and more to zero when the tension will be as high as possible you can see here now it starts to get more straight as you can see and if i go to 0 0.1 refresh here now you can see already shaped of a straight line while there is still just a very tiny rounded edges here curves making the tension still a little bit elastic and eventually if you put in zero of course then we go back to the straight line and now you can see here the very solid sharp edges but this is basically the way how you can do in chart js3 how you can increase or decrease the tension i would say to get rounded curves 0 0.4 is more than sufficient thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.